evening, everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News update. Thanks for joining us. While two escaped prisoners remain at large, authorities captured a third man, Chadwick Dale, in Northside on Tuesday afternoon. The three men escaped Northwood Prison on Wednesday, the 14th of August, putting all levels of authority on alert. Now, the intelligence operation that led to Dale's capture involved police and prison officers. Police report a high police presence remains in the area of Northside as the search continues. Now, Northside residents are also being encouraged to remain vigilant and are asked to report any suspicious activity immediately by calling 911. Well, next Friday, most students will be back in schools as they, uh, start their summer holidays are ending. Now, the Ministry of Education and Department of Education Services would like to bring the following important dates and details to the attention of all parents and guardians of both new and returning students who attend government schools on the islands. The official start of the school year is August the 28th. That's next Friday, and all students should return to school on this date unless otherwise specified. New student orientations are taking place the day before on the 27th at Bodentown, East End, Northside, and Prospect Primary Schools, as well as the Lighthouse School. New student orientation will take place on the 23rd of August at Georgetown, Red Bay, and Sir John A. Cumber Primary Schools. Now, all students will return to schools on Kim and Brack and Little Cayman on the 28th of August as well. Now, students going back to or starting at the Clifton Hunter, John Gray, Lehman, Escott, and Syphek schools have varying return dates. Parents are reminded to ensure that your children attend uh, their respective schools on the correct dates as mentioned. For more information, you can contact the Department of Education Services on 945-1199 or email them at education.ky or lhs.edu.ky. Well, despite winning four out of five games in the CONCACAF Under-15 tournament being held in Grand Cayman this week, the Cayman Teenage team will not play in the semifinals matchup. The Cayman team did beat Aruba 4-2 in their final matchup on Tuesday. According to all reports, the team still has much to be proud of after being victorious in four of their five matches. Now, Team Bermuda has secured the top spot of Group A, advancing to the semifinals. On Wednesday evening, Groups C and D teams will play their final matches. Honduras is looking good, while who wins out of Haiti and El Salvador will also advance on. Well, finally, on our daily government news update, remember to go online to the Cayman Islands Government Facebook and YouTube pages. The YouTube address is CIGOVT Info Services, and the Facebook page is Cayman Islands Government. Of course, that's if you missed our news update or simply to get the very latest in government and community news. And don't forget to tune into Radio Cayman's Talk Today show with Sterling Dwayne Ebanks daily from 1215. Jewel Hydes will be on the show on Thursday to discuss a community back-to-school event as well as other guests. Also, there is the open line for you, the public, to call as well. Well, that ends our news update for today. I'm Donna Bush, as always. Thanks for watching us here on CIG TV. Bye-bye for now.